Welcome to lecture 19, 8051 serial communication programming using embedded C. In this lecture, I just give introduction to what is serial communication protocol and I will start with how to serially you can transmit the data with external communication like how to communicate with the GSM, how to communicate with the personal computer, so on. In the next lecture, I will going to be discuss about serial reception. In A051, we have in the one serial communication protocol that name is UART. It is universal asynchronous transmitter and receiver. In Arduino, there are three bus protocols are available. One is I2C, inter-integrated circuit, SPI, serial peripheral interface and UART. So, these are the bus protocol you have to be communicate serially with some the external environment like the GSM module or the personal computer if you want to establish the communication you want to serially transmit the data from your controller to the PC or else controller to the GSM with the help of this UART we can able to perform. So basics of serial communication, the usually there are uh, the two way of communication, one is serial communication, another one is a parallel the transfer, the serial transfer, another one is a parallel transfer. In serial transfer, you can able to send the data from sender by bit by bit to the receiver. But in case of parallel transfer, for example, if it is a 8 bit the microcontroller, you can able to send all the 8 bits at a time so we are in need of the eight uh, physical lines required to can transmit the data from sender to receiver in this case of uh, serial transfer the only one the physical line is sufficient to transfer the data by bit by bit so serial communication programming it is very important to set the baud rate uh, between the communication uh, uh, between the microcontroller and the PC or microcontroller with the GSM. So what is the receiver and the transmitter? The baud rate should be same. Then only it is going to be the properly establish the communication and going to be exchange the data between that both the transmitter and the receiver. So it is very important. So with the help of timer one or timer zero we can uh, in this uh, serial communication we are using the timer 1 or 0 but mode 2 it is a 8 bit auto reload with the help of that mode we can able to uh, set the board rate so the pc board rate usually the starting from 110 150 300 600 000, 200 so usually in the uh, desktop or laptop usually the communication the board rate is it is 9600 so which the transmission where you are going to be transmit from the data from a051 to the receiver so you have to be properly establish the communication for that you can set the board rate proper way so with a crystal oscillator it is 11.0592 MHz. It is a crystal oscillator frequency. Based on that only we are going to be uh, generate the board rate. And whatever the value you are finding, there is a few simple calculation is there. So that is value is loaded in pH1. After that, because we are working in auto reload, it is a mode 2. The automatically pH1 it is load with TL1. TL1 once start the counter it is going to be power flow that is F of the TF1 is going to be set again the TH1 the value whatever the value you loaded for according to your the board rate set again loaded in the TL sorry TL1 so according to that the board rate is going to be generated so with the help of the crystal oscillator frequency which are feeding in between the 18th and 19th pin of a 051 microcontroller usually it has to be loaded by 12 how to calculate the machine cycle with the help of uh, whatever the frequency we are feeding has to be loaded by 12 you will get 921.6 kilohertz after that inside the a 051 microcontroller there is a divided by 32 the network is there once the crystal oscillator frequency Already there is a divided by 12 network is already available. 
you will get this frequency again by u what have to be divided uh, what are the frequency coming out of this divided by 12 network that has to be divided by 32 so the total the output we are going to be get 28800 hertz so to timer to set the baud rate so it is the frequency you will get out of the u what timer so what are the frequency you want so can based on the calculation that value had to be loaded in the dh1 the corresponding baud rate is going to be generated for example 28800 i want 9600 it is a baud rate i want so it had to be divided by 3 so divided by 3 you can get the minus 3 you take a minus 3 in the sense you can load fd is loaded into the th1 you are going to be generate the baud rate of 9600 so in place of fd you can load minus 3 minus 3 is nothing but 2's complement of this fd you will get this minus 3 suppose you want 2400 baud rate again that frequency is divided by 12 you will get f4 it is hexadecimal and you can load minus 4 also it is a the two's complement of f4 you can give fd loaded in th1 or minus 3 you have loaded in th1 that is your wish uh, both hexadecimal or this two's complement value of that hexadecimal both are what is that going to be accepted by the a051 microcontroller there are the few registers is very important for uh, serial communication one is es buff with a serial buffer register so it is a 8 bit register it is nothing but whatever the data if you want to transmit from 8051 microcontroller to the external uh, communication that whatever the value if you want to send suppose you want to send the character a that character a ASCII values initially stored in SBUF from that only it is going to be transmitted same like reception suppose if you want to receive the any data from that the receiver end first the data is to be stored via RXE pin from RXE pin it is going to be stored in the SBUF after that you can store it in the some of the internal registers like A register or B register whichever the location if you want to the transfer the the data which you have received from the external the communication so you can initially load it with the s buff that is initially you can receive with the help of receiver rxd pin that is the physical pin the pin in the h051 microcontroller and and store it in the s buff from s buff we can what is the transfer uh, to any ports or if you want to store it somewhere if possible like the transmitter same whatever the data if you want to transmit from 8051 microcontroller to the external uh, initially whatever the value you want to send for example the character a ascii value of the a is stored in a sbuff from sbuff only you are going to be the transmit with the physical line txt in 8051 there are two physical pins available for uh, especially exclusively for uh, the signal communication one is txt another one is the rxd pin this is the two physical pins this S buff register and one more register is a SCON register. It is available in the special function register in the 8051 microcontroller. So SCON is an 8 bit register. So this is the register you are going to be configured uh, whether your uh, uh, microcontroller is uh, work with the receiver mode or transmit mode. So it is 8 pin. So RA means receive interrupt, TA is uh, uh, trans transmit uh, interrupt. Usually you are not going to be use RB8 and TB8 usually and REM means receive enable. Suppose you want to receive the data from the, the external communication. So you can make this REM should be 1 then only the reception is going to be happen. And SF, SM0, SM1, SM2. So anyway we are not going to be use this SM2 because in the next uh, uh, the series of uh, F051 uh, we are going to be use this SM2, but in this H051 microcontroller, usually we are using SM0 and SM1. So, which mode you want to operate? Like uh, the timer, we having a three modes: mode zero, mode one, mode two, mode three. Likewise, in SCON also there are that uh, four modes of operation. The uh, the mode has to be selected with the help of SM0 and SM1. So this is SCON register SM0, SM1. So if it is a zero zero, it is a serial mode. 
one zero serial mode two one one serial mode three usually uh, in uh, f zero five one usually we should prefer the mode one that is a serial mode one that is the name of the serial mode one it is eight bit data so one start bit one start bit so only mode one is a uh, uh, interest uh, to us so we are usually using the uh, zero one that is the mode one serial it is a bit data and preceded with uh, one stop bit and uh, and uh, initially you can what is that what it is one start bit it is uh, the beginning of this data this is the end of the data the, so totally the 10 bit we are going to be transmit but uh, the data is only 8 bit so it is a one stop bit and one start bit the microcontroller is usually going to be understand the what bit according to that the controller is going to be respond so the other the pins that is uh, receive enable as already told uh, if it is high then only the reception is going to be happen or else the receiver is disabled as well as transmit interrupt so this the ta is going to be uh, the uh, what is that set to one when the h051 finishes the transfer of 8 bit character so it traces indicates that it is ready to transfer another byte the t bit is raised by at the beginning of the stop bit so here we are having the serial bit it is the initially it is a start bit following with the 8 bit data and following with one stop bit so beginning of the stop bit once it is a stop bit has to be transmitted so the automatically the, the ta bit that is transmit interrupt bit is going to be uh, raised so it is ready for what is that send the other data that is uh, one byte because of it is the 8 bit microcontroller we are going to be sent 8 bit another one is what is that receiver interrupt so it is receiver data serially once it will receive properly so this ra bit is going to be high so scan is a bit addressable register you can access the single bit in the scan register so it raises the ra flag bit indicate that bit has been properly received should be picked up before it is last so ra flag is set it is going to be properly the receiver there is a difference between re and pin and the ra the receiver enable is nothing but you have to be enabled one this pin then only the reception operation is going to be happen even though you having you're going to be receive uh, some data from the other uh, device so you make this REN pin should be one then only it is going to be reception happen so this is RA, it is a receive, receiver interrupt. So once it properly receive, pick up the data from the controller. So the properly we receive the data. So RA flag is going to be set. So it is a program. Write a C program for a 051 to transfer the letter A serially at 4800 baud rate. Use 8 bit data and one stop bit and one start bit. Why? Because we are using in more uh, what is that one so here we are using mode one more sorry timer one mode two always we are using the timer one mode two or timer zero mode two because the mode two is auto reload so no need to again and again you no need to reload it in the reload this the timer one using the tl1 and the dh1 once you loaded in the dh1 so because of this auto reload it is keep on what is that reload in the tl1 so it is a include header file void main tmod geo x20 so because this is the timer one uh, more true that's why i configure the tmod register to generate the board rate 4800 and th1 it is equal to fa because it is uh, 4800 here i shown so fa suppose if it is fa suppose you want uh, board rate 4800 so you can use th1 as fa or you can load it with the minus 6 both are same minus 6 is nothing but it is a two's complement of fa that i have loaded over here th1 i directly use hexadecimal fa or else you can use minus 6 both are correct 
and the SCON register you can configure so which mode and as well as uh, the usually here the receiver enable also I am going to be uh, what is that high uh, why because usually we can load the uh, hexadecimal value 50 why because uh, for again for reception you have to be again you can configure that the SCON register that's why why it is uh, 5 this is 0 1 because of you are using 0 1 mean it is uh, more 1 again this is 0 this is 1 receiver enable is going to be 1 so 0 1 0 1 is nothing but 5 this bit we are not going to use 0 the TA and the RA the TA one properly we have transmitted the bit this bit is going to be high once we can properly receive this bit is going to be high so this is not in our hand once the transmission over reception over this bit is going to be enabled in our hand we have to be use which mode and receiver enable you make it to one even though transmission no problem you can make this receive enable business one so nothing will happen so if i to run the timer usually if i to run the timer in the while of one it is an infinite loop i have already told whatever the data if you want to send serially from h051 microcontroller to the external the world so it had to be the load in the single code it is nothing but it is a character that has to be moving to yes buff so while ta it is a transmit interrupt the ta okay if it is zero only initially once this a is properly transmitted this ta bit is going to be one once it will get uh, one so again come to ta equal to zero again go for while of one so keep on transmitting the character a whatever the communication if you want to transmit from a 051 to the gsm or uh, the pc so this operation is going to be performed why we are using this timer one more two once you can configure t mode register once you can reload this 0 x fa uh, that's it no need of uh, again and again no need to reload the the timer values and xcon and tr1 we have to be once you can't run the timer no need to what is that rerun the timer because it is auto reload it is keep on what is that load and again what is that it start the timer so no need to start the timer again and again like uh, mode 1 sorry mode uh, yeah, mode 0 mode 1 mode 3 usually you have to be uh, what is that run the timer uh, uh, what is that uh, one the time delay completed again it had to be loaded and it had to be run the timer but in case of the mode 2 once you can load it configure it load it and run the timer that's it after that this things only going to be executed so that is a while of one it is nothing but infinite loop now i am going for the simulation how to transmit the data from a0512 the PC here I am not going to be connect any PC to transmit the data from A0512 to the external PC just I am using here there is a virtual PC with the help of that I am going to be transmit so I am going to be save I am just going to be compile there is a three errors so here you can give the single code that is a mistake A single code now again I used to be compiled yeah, 0 error 0 warning you can build and rebuild and I go for the debug operation now we are going to be you are not going to be use anything any ports we are not connected so peripherals so it is a serial channel so it is a 8 bit uh, register so here we can go for the serial window this you can use the UART so this is the window you can watch carefully you can watch over here you can get this window so from microcontroller to this virtual uh, window we are going to be transmit the help of KL I just going to be demonstrate it so it is a serial channel it is a 8 bit register scon register sbuff register there is ren pin receive enable 
pb8 or b8 sm2 we are not going to be used simply we make it as 0 and we are having the interrupt request suppose uh, if you want to go for the next uh, subsequent lecture i am going to be talk about uh, the interrupt uh, programming with the help of serial interrupt uh, how to use this interrupt at the time i am going to be uh, tell those things now going for stepwise operation the th1 yeah fine it is loaded so uh, uh, this is a timer uh, if you want to see i will take those things also the which port uh, sorry timer we are using the timer one yeah it is a 2 8 bit order reload so th1 i going to be load over here it is loaded with fa it is loaded next going to be run the timer we have to be run the timer so scon already 0x50 it is scon it is configured fine and next we going for run the timer so if you run the timer what happened that is uh, the board rate it is properly set after that is communication is properly established that is the meaning once you can run this timer with the help of timer only you are going to set the board rate that's why you have to be run the timer now yes buff equal to a so yes buff this is a equal to it is not a why because the ascii value of a is 41 so after that it will check it is properly sent to the uart window or not now i am going to over here it will properly why because it is 8 bit after that one start and one stop bit while of one is not i'm going to run this one so you see the keep on once it will uh, properly send this character a it become one again you make this ty ti is equal to zero again going to be transmit and keep on transmitting the value a so this is the tl1 it is going to be once you can load it with uh, fa in the tl1 it is fixed once it will get reset sorry once it will get uh, overflow automatically tf1 flag is going to be set again going to be what is set reloaded and and so on so this nothing is going to be happen so it is very fast that's why you are not able to see this ta bit is going to be higher low this tf1 bit is also uh, again uh, once it will get over for this bit is going to be one after that it will load this is also going to be zero because we are running uh, this uh, 0 5 of 1 microcontroller has 12 megahertz frequency that's why we are not able to visualize this uh, t of 1 is 0 1 0 1 as well as this ta is going to be higher low that's why even though i click 1 it is nothing going to be happen okay the next program it is the next very interesting one here uh, write an 8051c program to transfer the message s serially at 9600 baud rate here 8 bit data one stop bit and one stop bit do this continuously again i am using as include i am using void uh, what is the serial transmission just a uh, crtx unsigned character because it is a sub function uh, it is user defined function avoid main again as usual t mod it is a timer one mode two th1 i am going to be set the board rate that's why i loaded 0x50 scon register this is common it is 50 run the timer so a serial transmission of y because in the usual defined function inside i use the which the data type i am going to be use it is sign, unsigned character so serial transmission of y ser tx is nothing but a function name in the bracket we are passing the unsigned character value in the single code single code mean it is ascii value so once it will uh, execute this SERTX function, it come over here. So yes, buff. What is X? That is the character. What is the uh, character we are passing in this function? It is Y. So this single character Y is moved to yes buff. As usual, it will check the TA interrupt is going to be set or not. Once it will properly transmitted, it is going to be zero. Or else transmitted. It, it is going to be one not transmitted it keep on 
stay in this line once it will get 1 again you make it to ta equal to 0 again back to ser tx and the character now x value is e after that x you again back to ser tx and x value is x and move it to s buffer and this thing is going to be happen so it is very easy one this is a serial communication this is a very interesting one Now I am going to be demonstrate this one also for better understanding. Here the same. I hope again I problem with this single code. You have to be properly give the single code or else it will show some error. Why yes is a string, but I am passing the character by character. Again, one error. What is error? Y, C, R, P, X, and sign. Care X. Here, I'm not close the loop. Yeah, fine. Compilation over. Zero error. Zero warnings. Now, I'm going for the debug option. Now. Again, the same mode I am used, so I am going to run this timer. So, you are just you see YES character is going to be the communicate from a 051 microcontroller to the PC or desktop. Suppose GSM you can send from GSM, it is going to be transmit to your mobile phone. It is possible with the help of serial communication. It is a powerful the peripheral of a 051, you have to be communicate the data serially with the external world the next the program the one more program that is example so it is the program the 051 mc to receive the bytes of data serially and put them in p1 set the bore rate of 4808 bit data and one stop it so now i am going to be perform the uh, receiver operation so as of now we done the serial the transmission so this how the data reception is going to be happen with the help of this one so again unsigned character it is a my byte so i am using uh, unsigned character with my byte again t mod is 20 fa 50 this as usual like a transmission while of one so while of r i equal to 0 why because this is going from this is the what is that reception uh, we are going to receive the data from the external the communication device to the a051 microcontroller so we can keep on tracing the bit the flag bit it is r i it is equal to equal to 0 once the properly receive the data r i b r i bit is going to be set come over here as already told whatever the reception or transmission initially it comes to s buffer from s buff to you can move to my byte the my byte is nothing but it is a character so that my byte is moved into the p1 the port so whatever the you want if you want to display uh, it on the lcd just you can interface lcd with the p1 so whatever the value you receive from the, the external uh, communication device so we are going to be what is that uh, put it on p1 port suppose if you want to uh, see just you can interface lcd you can able to visualize whatever the data we receive after that you again you make this ri equal to 0 for the next the data is going to be recept receptor so copy and again I used to be paste over here this reception the first pro two program what we have discussed it is the transmission 
again I going for 0, 0, 0, 1 in the compilation done the next it is the 0 error and it's fine now I go for the debug option fine so from you have to be sent from the external device so I will take it this as a external device in the virtually you can just you can uh, uh, think about this is the PC or from uh, the mobile phone you are transmitting some message that has to be received through your GSM module from GSM module I am going to be uh, receive this message with the help of RxD pin from RxD pin it is going to be uh, loaded in the S buffer S buff is you have to be communicate to the P1 communicate means you have to display whatever the value you receive we want to be C visualized with the help of P1 but here I am not going to be interface any LCD with the help of P1 I am going to be low so the peripherals I am going to be IO ports I am used over here it is a P1 port for example here I am typing for example you have to run the program and you can type capital A I type the capital A. Usually, uh, in this UART window, whatever the value you are type, it is not going to be display. But I typed here as A. That's why it is showing for, uh, 41. Suppose B 42, C it is 43. For example, small A is 61, small B is 62. Suppose I am sending the numbers 1, it is 31, 2, 32, and 3. 33. Suppose I am using the special character that is at the rate you are getting the 40. So whatever the value you are receiving and that value is to be sent to the port 1 in terms of ASCII values. So this is about the serial communication, the transmission and the reception. The first sli slide I just uh, told that it is a serial transmission only. So I have completed both serial transmission as well as the reception. Okay, thank you for watching.